Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Gemini. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Geminis, as it takes care of you, my loves. Welcome back, Gems. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today, Gems. Shout out to the Soul Tribe Gang. Gang, gang shout out to the evolving spirits and shout out to the patreon soul family gang gang it is a pleasure to assist each and every one of you all thank you all so much for your continuous love and support shout out to you and welcome back gems to the ones that are new here what's good twinkies come on in get comfortable my loves thank you all so much for stopping by it is an honor to have you here definitely if the reading here today resonates and provides you you know spiritual guidance here along the way along your spiritual path and journey subscribe we would love to have you here gems as part of our soul family loves and definitely don't forget to adjust your notification bell for when i go live for you all on this platform i do go live throughout the week for each zodiac sign where that way you can have a more extended reading with me as well my loves all right so definitely this week we are focusing in on the color pink yes we've been focusing in on compassionate and unconditional love this week week and pouring our hearts not only back into ourselves for self-love self-care but also into others our loved ones our significant other all right in ways to beautifully manifest with colors as well so definitely if you're new here keep up with the community tab that it was where i do post the new colors that we transition to each week we do understand here that colors bring in their own frequency their own vibration they have synchronicities that they provide us along with numbers so definitely we have a good time here welcome welcome especially if you're new here we appreciate you and your time, my loves, all right? So let's go ahead and get into your reading here today. First, before we dive into your love life and see what's coming towards you for romance, gems. I'm going to use my Rebel deck here to get a random message here. It may resonate for you. It may not, all right? We're just going to have a little fun before we get into your love life, all right? Wow, we have stopped talking, Gemini's, okay? All right, well, this is definitely not a gold figure for gems, okay? I actually have my moon sign. It was in Gemini, okay? So I definitely talk a lot is why I have established this platform, okay? Because I had to get it out for myself, okay? Because others even tell me all the time, you talk a lot, okay? So I was like, okay, bet. Let me go somewhere where I can just vent and express myself. And what other place I ran into was YouTube, okay? So again, thank you all for even tuning in and listening to me every day, okay? Because yes, we can talk a lot, okay? So what? And okay, we're smart, we're intelligent, okay? We're great communication communicators excuse me we rule right you are the mercury planet okay that is your home there so you rule communication you can't fucking help it all right but maybe at some time some point okay everywhere is a time and place right so i feel like for some of you all this may resonate or whatever it is that you may be talking about maybe it not be the right time to talk about it maybe this you need to keep to yourself gems okay you don't want to give all your gems out if you get what i mean okay you don't want to tell everybody your business or maybe what you got going on that you want to manifest it may be some people around you that don't need to know what you're doing or what you're trying to accomplish okay Okay, so stop talking if that's the case, okay? Move in silence, okay? They don't need to know your whole moves and what you got going, yay. Okay? All right, so let's see what's on the back here. We have shut your mouth and listen, okay? Wow, I just love these cards. They're so funny. They're great openers to get your reading started, okay? I'm always out for laughter okay i love to laugh laughter is good for the soul all right and it allows you to live a lot longer okay so laugh good is always laughter okay so however like i said some of y'all i know how we can talk so much sometimes and we don't listen we could talk so much and have so much information that we hold within and sometimes we just need to sit quietly and listen listen to our guardian angels and our ancestors some of y'all i encourage you to do a lot more meditating to 
to listen to get the answers that you're seeking. Others of you all, if you're having a conversation with your significant other or your partner, it's the time to listen to what they have to say. Listen and hear them out. All right. Or even if this comes to your loved ones, your co-workers, people that you're working around every day, sometimes before speaking, it's good to just listen. Okay. Wow. Very significant there. I love that. All right. So yes, let's move forward here. Let's now finally dive into your love life. We're going to go into tarot land here with the traditional tarot deck and see what's coming towards you or just what's surrounding you at this time. And then we're going to use the love romance angel deck to see what is a potential outcome for love for you in the future. Definitely stick around. I'm going to use my raw tarot deck here to see what the energies are surrounding you and how they feel, what they want to say. And then we'll finish up and use the dice and roll some dice for some zodiac signs to see who possibly you all are engaging with as well. All right. So let's see here. Whoa, we got the full card here. Someone is definitely ready to take a leap of faith here. Someone is ready to take a risk here with you, Gems, or you are ready to take a risk, I feel like, as well with this particular person here. Some of y'all, this person could be an Aries here or a fire sign here, but this person is definitely all in. They're ready to start over. They may have even mentioned this to you that they're ready to start over. Look, Gems, I just want to start fresh. I want to give this a shot here, and I just want to take that leap of faith here with you, Gemini, okay? Wow, it's getting good already. Get your popcorn. Okay, yeah, look at that. We got the seven of cups here. Some of y'all, this person may be a water sign here, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Someone definitely see you as an opportunity here or an option here. Others of you are not in the option in that way. I just feel like this person is like, damn, I finally got somebody that I can choose and that I'm going to be happy to be able to be in a relationship or be with, okay? Others of you all, this person feels like that they're an option or an opportunity to you, right? That you are being put in a position where they are feeling like they're an option for you, okay? So it's going to resonate in different ways for each and every one of you all, of course, here, okay? But this is what I'm currently intuitively here picking up, all right? You do definitely have a lot of options here, Gemini's, okay? So you're going to have to definitely choose wisely. But one of these options here, they are aware that they are an option, out of other opportunities from others for you, but they do want to take the leap of faith here with you. They are willingly to take this risk, okay? They are willingly to just go all in with you because they feel like with you, it'll be worth the wow, okay? Well, fuck it up, Jims. Mm -hmm. Wow, we got the seven of swords here, seven, seven. Wow, and then as I'm recording, it says seven, four, four. So four, Four may be very significant. Some of y'all may be seeing the number four a lot. That is your guardian angels and your ancestors protecting you and guiding you at this time. All right. Seven is masculine energy there. Taking action. All right. So that's also spirit. So definitely the number seven is going to be very significant for you all as well at this time. But we know the seven of swords talks about on the positive part of it. It talks about planning, strategizing a plan, getting something together. Others on the low frequency or the negative side of the seven of swords, it talks about deception, not being honest, lying about a situation or being sneaky here as well. OK, so just take that where it resonates. We're going to get some clarification for that. And then we're going to move on to the love romance angel deck here. Guardian angels, ancestors, clarify the seven of swords here. All right. So some of y'all may still have someone around that's being in your energy and being sneaky. They could be watching you, observing you. As always, Jim, you always have someone that is watching you. So I feel like someone could be watching you and not telling you or sneaking around and watching you and not telling you. Yeah, look at this. OK, we got the devil card here, Capricorn energy here. Some of y'all, this is someone in your past here who had a very way of doing things here in a bad pattern way, okay? Someone had a very unhealthy way of doing things that began a pattern and they became very unhealthy and toxic when it came to this relationship here. Some of y'all, you could have even been in a relationship with this person or you may was even married to this person showing the ring here down below, all right? But this is someone that you recognize that, you know, definitely taught you a lot here in this experience, in this relationship with this particular a person here again some of y'all this person could have been a capricorn a aquarius a libra here or a gemini like yourself others of you all this could have been this aries here or pisces scorpio or cancer energy is what we have here but i feel like this is just energy that's suffering that's uh, 
resurfacing, excuse me, from your past, okay? But I do see you again moving forward to in the future with someone here and you definitely have more great opportunities that are coming ahead when it comes to your love life and business and finances here as well, all right? So whoever this particular person here is from your past, be aware they are still watching you or observing you as you are moving forward and taking upon these new opportunities. All right. So just be mindful of this person that could be watching your social media websites here. All right. Or just observing from the outside here. OK, so let's now dive into your love life as far as in the future. Let's see what the potential outcome is over here with this Aries or this water sign here for some of you all. OK. Wow, yeah, this is the energy that I was feeling here. We got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I knew it. I knew you were getting to know someone or definitely starting over with someone, starting over fresh because we got the number zero up here, okay? This is someone that, you know, you just may have started dating. You may have been dating this person for a couple of months here, almost a year or two. And some of y'all are thinking about now finally settling down with this person is why they're ready to take the leap of faith here with you now. But you're definitely going to be getting to know someone here here okay if you haven't met this person already okay this is when the person comes over they're getting to know the person you see how he's getting to know her and her daughter here you know he's meeting her for the first time here all right so this is definitely an energy of you all being able to meet someone some of y'all may be getting ready to go out on a date with this particular person here all right so that's going to be very significant here all right yes i love it gems let's see what else here we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life yeah that's the energy that i was picking up from this devil card here whatever type of patterns or addictions here that this person may have had and maybe came very overwhelming for you in the past here that you find you found yourself depending on this person or you know depending on this person to hold themselves accountable and unfortunately they were not able to do that so this is why i feel like you decided to remove yourself from this particular person in your past and now you have done the work you've been healing here and now you have someone genuine that's coming in that in that approach appreciates you and that is going to love you for who you are all right so this is why some of y'all may need to keep this person to yourself at least for now since you have this lurking energy that's over here observing you and this particular partner here or just watching your moves here i feel like here as well it's kind of weird okay but i just want to throw that out there all right wow there i have i'm getting a lot of messages here for you gems okay please excuse me i'm like happy excited and then i feel a little overwhelmed as well so so some of y'all may feel like overwhelmed at this time as well here. Okay, but definitely loves. Don't forget to like, like, like. Share the content here for who you know the reading so far is resonating for. Again, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Again, we would love to have you here, a part of our soul family. Make sure to adjust your notification bell. Again, I do go live throughout the week for you all. And I can be able to do an extended reading versus having, you know, 10 to 15 minutes here. You actually get 30 minutes to an hour when I go live for just you and your live stream. Okay, so definitely make sure to adjust your notification bells what do we have here Ooh, look at that yep heart to heart conversations is coming in honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay so it's definitely now time to have this heart to heart conversation as i mentioned to you y'all because some of y'all you just now met this person everyone is on different frequency and vibrations others of you all you're now on this frequency vibration with this person where it's been a couple of months it's been a year or two almost and you guys are thinking about settling down with each other so now it's time to have this heart to heart conversation okay others of you all could be with someone in a relationship where you realize like okay look this is not the person for me i know i deserve better than this and now it's time to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation to allow yourself to be removed from this relationship or be removed from this marriage because it's becoming very overbearing a lot of burdens here are being put on you from this particular person and a lot of codependency from this particular person because they're not wanting to hold themselves accountable because of their own mistakes okay they could be gaslighting you putting the uh burdens on you or projecting this out on you do you see that i got three different energies that i'm picking up in your reading all at once okay so again duffy if you would love to book a personal reading gems i am available for personal reading okay but again we have an ex here we have someone new here all right and we all 
also have an energy here that, you know, is ready to settle down with you, who you've been engaging here with for quite some time, okay? Wow, gems, all right? So before we close out, I'm going to use, again, my raw tarot deck here that I created. I want to see what all these energies are and how they feel towards you at this time. What do we have for Golden Angels? Thank you. Wow, we have, I'm ghosting everybody for you, gems, okay? Wow, so this particular energy here wants to be in a situation where if they have to leave everyone that's in their past for you, they will do it, okay? Someone is like, look, I now found what I want, what I can genuinely appreciate and love, and that's why they're taking this leap of faith here, okay? And they're ready to ghost everybody for you. Wow, yeah, we have, I will make it all up for you, okay? So someone here is definitely willing to make up the past for you or just necessarily the lack of this other person or this person this ex in your past that didn't appreciate you that didn't value you for who you are or who didn't give you the genuine love i feel like whoever this new person that you're getting to know here or that you're about to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here with this person wants to come in and make it all up for you for what this person did not do unfortunately with you in the past honey yes fuck it up gems what else what else? Yeah, we have, I will never go back again. So someone here, this is more of that X energy that I was feeling here. They may have went back to someone in their past that could have placed you in a situation of a third party that you was not aware of. And now that they went back, they realize and learned their lesson here that they want to be with you. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there because that's what I'm intuitively picking up. I'm not telling you to take this person back, but this is just what I am picking up, gems. Okay. Some of you all hear this person here, ills realize this. It had to take them to go back and compare this person and compare this person to you and realize like, damn, this person is nothing like gems. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking here. This person may have went through hell, okay? We got the devil card here. Ironically, that the card is over or landing on here, okay? So that's definitely a significance here. Yeah, look at that. I will not put you in this again okay so someone definitely is learning from this they're having to now feel what you feel and go through the pain that you had to go through yeah and look at that i don't think they're gonna give up without a fight here fuck that i'm fighting for you okay so you're definitely gonna have to make sure to choose wisely here there is definitely a decision here that's gonna have to be made too. you're gonna have to let this person know how you feel okay that's where that heart-to-heart -heart conversation i feel like here is coming in for you okay yeah i want every part of you by my side all oh, now that's more of this new energy that i was picking up or the, or the person here now that you're talking to and not the person from your past okay yeah this is what else is new here gems we got i'm always watching you okay so this particular person here wants you to know that they're always watching you they've always been watching you here what else is new okay and then wow the last card we have here is i want to make a baby with you Oh, so yeah, this is that energy here that, again, as I mentioned, that is ready to settle down with you. They want to establish a whole family here with you, okay? Or they definitely are looking to now want to be in the presence of you and have a family with you. Some of y'all may even find yourself blending families with this particular person. This person just feels like they've had enough and they want to just finally be with you or be with someone that's going to appreciate them just as well as they will appreciate you, my loves. Wow. Beautiful messages here, gems. Definitely if the reading here has resonated, gave you some insight, some understanding, uh, definitely some peace here and confirmation for you. Again, don't forget to like, 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 share this video, get it out in the act algorithm so all the gems can be aware and be able to share this with your partner for whoever you know this reading here today has resonated with and again if you would love love to book a personal reading all that information loves is down below in the description box all right and Delphi loves thank you all so much for your can oh my apologies i forgot to pull the dice let's roll the dice before we head out my apologies let's see who we have here wow we got libra all right so some of you are this particular person here may 
be a Libra, all right, that you are engaging here with. Wow, there goes that Capricorn, all right. Some of you are this person here, maybe a Capricorn here. Let's see what else. My apologies, I almost forgot to roll the dice with you guys. And then we have Scorpio here. Wow, some of you are this particular person here, maybe a Scorpio. Let's get one more, one more for the road, okay. Wow, we got Sagittarius, Gems, your opposite sign, all right. So some of y'all, this person may be a Sagittarius as well, or a Capricorn, or Scorpio, or a Libra. Okay, wow, beautiful message here again, loves. Thank you all so much. Like, subscribe, enjoy the content, and I'll see you soon, my loves. Bye-bye.